sharks were spotted off South Shore beaches, forcing swimmers to get out of the water today, but not before two more attacks. Good evening and happy Independence Day. I'm Ken Bufa. Lifeguards have had their hands full dealing with shark sightings and new attacks. One of them happened this afternoon in the waters off the Fire Island Pines. This is video of the victim being walked into an ambulance to get medical attention. You can see the victim's right hand is bandaged up. And at the Village Beach in Quag, police say a 47-year-old man was in chest-deep water when he was bitten on the knee. He suffered non-life-threatening injuries. As Cecilia Dowd reports, sharks have caused quite a commotion today at Robert Moses Beach. Check out these sand sharks spotted off Robert Moses early this holiday morning. Swimming was banned for a bit, then allowed, then prohibited again with a second sighting, thought to be sharks again, which officials now say turned out to be dolphins. It's been a busy week in Long Island waters. On Monday, a teen was bitten by a shark off Fire Island, and another teen may have been bitten by a shark. At Robert Moses. She didn't see what bit her, but there were three puncture wounds. Are sharks a deterrent for a dip in the ocean? Depends on whom you're talking to. I'm brave to go in the water. Oh, you're brave. I was born in 1968. I saw the original Jaws movie in the movie theater. Scared the living tar out of me. I didn't go in the ocean for like, I don't know, 10 years. And now that there's real sharks out there, there's no way I would go in that water. It's not going to take me out of the water. I actually go scuba diving and I love seeing them in the water as well. We just got to be a little more cautious and but I'm not going to be scared to go to the beach because this is the best part of the being on the island out here. Right now we have drones over the beaches here at Robert Moses State Park and they'll be over all day long right up until lifeguards go off duty at 8 o'clock tonight. They are scanning the waters to make sure that if they see any dangerous marine life, any sharks or anything that causes a concern, We'll alert the lifeguards right away and then prohibit swimming. From Robert Moses, Cecilia Dowd for Newsday TV. Now to read more about what's being done to keep swimmers safe this summer, go to Newsday.com, click Get More on the Newsday TV video box. The Long Islanders line the streets from Western Nassau to the East End for 4th of July parades. This was the scene this morning in Oyster Bay. The parade goers shared why they love the celebration. As a, uh, a wife of somebody who is currently deployed, it's very important. And to celebrate those who have given the ultimate sacrifice, who continue to sacrifice for our freedom. Today is the day that we all exci get excited about all being Americans, and uh, it's easy to be patriotic on the 4th of July. And here in Southampton, a pair of World War II veterans were honored at the parade today. 102-year-old Dominic Critelli and 96-year-old Harry Arlen both served at the Battle of the Bulge and during D-Day. At one point, Critelli treated the crowd to a mini concert. from the crowd was well deserved. Severe storms delayed the Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest today, but when it resumed, Joey Chestnut was crowned the king again. Jaws downed 62 dogs to capture his 16th mustard belt. It's his eighth straight win. And on the women's side, before the storms moved in, Mickey Sudo ate 39 and a half hot dogs to claim her ninth title. Wow. All right, now let's take a look at your Long Island weather. And you can see tonight we have partly cloudy skies with 70 degrees out. And let's take a look at tomorrow, shall we? I think it's going to be a little better. A little bit of sun, partly cloudy skies, but the temps are up in the mid 80s. Watch Newsday TV on the big screen. Use the remote to activate Siri, Alexa, Roku, or the Google Assistant on your streaming device. Say install Newsday. Newsday TV, covering Long Island like no one else can. Though not as common as they once were, jukeboxes still have Long Islanders grooving. Rafer Guzman has a story you'll see only in Newsday. Remember when you could put another dime in the jukebox and hear your favorite song? Well, those happy days aren't over yet. <laughs> Too hot, 
There are still a few places on Long Island where you can be a jukebox hero. We found one, the Hop Hog Palace Diner. This family-owned diner has a genuine Rockola jukebox and smaller ones at the tables, but they cost a little more than a dime. It's 50 cents a song, and then once you put, start putting more money into it, it discounts it and gives you a couple of free plays. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. it's Boys. a little more expensive than back in the day. I love it. I, we used to come in here all the time when our, the kids were little, and we would put them right here, put the jukebox on, sing music to them. If you ever dreamed of owning a jukebox, you can. We found a collector who spent thousands of dollars on his jukebox hobby. Whether it's an old jukebox or it's an old car, it triggers memories. So you hear the music, and that's true whether you're just putting on the radio, but particularly if you're also looking at the machine, it'll bring you back in time for a lot of people. Everything is sort of generational, uh, and things have ebbs and flows. So right now there's a resurgence of interest in vinyl records that there hasn't been in, in many years. Like any other collectible, depending on the supply and the demand, they will go up and down in value. And, and now there is somewhat of a resurgence of interest, but the problem is finding the machines. One thing's for sure, 50 cents is a small price for a trip down memory lane. It's not really here for the money-making part of it. It's really making for the ambiance part of it. Um, it's just nice to have. For Newsday TV, I'm Ray for Guzman. Now for more on this story, go to Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Twisted Sisters D. Snyder is back on the island and he's been busy. Elisa DiStefano has a story you'll see only in Newsday. What a happy homecoming. I know, back on Long Island, seeing my family and seeing my fans and friends too. There, there's a whole and lot you. of that. D. Snyder fans lined up at Looney Tunes in West Babylon to get some FaceTime with the Twisted Sister frontman and buy his new book, Frats. It was COVID. And you have a lot of time on your hands. And I said, you know what, maybe I'm going to write a novel. I always wanted to write a novel. And uh, it finally came out. I always wanted to write a novel. So, yeah. you know, I wrote a novel. I like to do new things, new and exciting things, you know. That's what I love about Something for you to talk about. Frats is set in 1970s Long Island and is based on true events. It'll bring you back to these days at Baldwin High School. Grew up on Long Island. And where I grew up in Baldwin, there was a high school fraternity scene. I grew up in the middle of it, and they were they were very they were like gangs, and but I understood the lay of the land, the way the world worked, but it wasn't until I got out of Long Island that I found out that there were no high school fraternities anywhere else, but South Shore and Nassau County. It was a very unique thing, and they were more like gangs, but because they had uh, charters with the police, the schools treated them with respect, and they were allowed to wear their jackets and their colors, but it was like living amongst gang members all the time. It was dangerous. And I decided to write a book. It's, fi it's fictional, but all of the things, the events that happen are true. It's dark, it's interesting, it's from the 70s, but uh, it's a smile, it's a happy ending, so. <laughs> well, that's good to know. <laughs> I don't want that's you to think as you're reading and go, oh no, this just keeps getting worse. In addition to his book tour, D has been busy. I just had my fifth grandkid. I'm directing a movie called My Enemy's Enemy, which was based on the 1982 diner Remember there was a diner invasion? You just keep rocking, my friend. I, I don't know about that. More but and more yeah, and more. Different rocking. So. Happy to have you home. Yeah, happy to be home. Yeah. Busy, busy, and talented man. Now for more on D. Snyder, go to Newsday.com. Click Get More below the Newsday TV video box. Get more of the stories you've seen on Newsday TV at Newsday.com. Plus breaking news, investigations, things to do, restaurants, and other Long Island news you can't get anywhere else. At Newsday.com, covering Long Island like no one else can. I'm Ken Bufa. Thank you so much for watching. We'll leave you now with a look at your seven-day forecast.